Hello students, this lecture is on regulation of smooth muscle contraction and also a little bit about some of the special features of smooth muscle. Uh, again, remember that in smooth muscle contraction, it's not under voluntary control. It's an unconscious involuntary control. It's controlled by the autonomic nervous system. And it does use neurotransmitters uh, to uh, ultimately uh, control uh, the contraction in the smooth muscle and control uh, the graded effects of the smooth muscle. Like uh, smooth muscle, like skeletal muscle, it can have either a very strong contraction or a weak contraction, and that will depend upon what kind of stimulus it's getting from neurotransmitters. And the neurotransmitters binding will cause an increase in the calcium uh, into the cell that eventually causes those contractions. And the smooth muscle contraction that you get will depend upon the type of neurotransmitter and also the type of neurotransmitter receptor. Also, hormones and other chemicals can affect smooth muscle contraction as well. A couple more special features about the smooth muscle. One is that it, there is a, a stress relaxation response. So that when I stretch out smooth muscle, it'll adapt to that new length. And even when the smooth muscle is stretched out, it will still be able to contract. And that's very important for some of the smooth muscle functions. That, was, uh, that allows us to uh, empty the stomach and the bladder it allows us to store those contents and then remove those contents. Also, there's an interaction between length and tension where the smooth muscle, anywhere from between half its length to twice its length, can still generate tension. That's not true. Neither one of these things are true with skeletal muscle. If you start, if skeletal muscle does not respond to stretch. You cannot overstretch your skeletal muscles. And also, skeletal muscle has kind of this optimum a length in which it can generate the most tension. But smooth muscle is very different, and that relates to its different function. And then one more, one last thing about smooth muscle. We can have a kind of single unit smooth muscle in which all the, uh, the, the smooth muscle sheets are contracting uh, rhythmically as one unit. And this is, this is kind of smooth muscle in which it's often you have spontaneous contractions. And then finally, we can also have what are called multi-unit smooth muscles. In this case, the uh, smooth muscle is uh, arranged in, in motor units. Uh, it's responding to the amygdala nervous system. And we can get graded contractions in this case, where we can get a very small contraction or a very large contraction. We often find this type of muscle in, in the airways of our respiratory system, in large arteries, and uh, also in uh, the iris of the eye. Thank you.